drop shot fishing on Lake Erie, folks, just can't beat it. Using the right baits and uh, keeping it on the bottom, looking at those drop-offs, keeping the bait, changing colors, just putting that right combination together. You can't miss. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and you're getting aggressive. Remember, play that current, the wind, all those things. You'll be successful, too. All right, let them go. All right. What I'm doing is I'm fishing for smallmouth bass, my favorite, of course. We're outside the Buffalo Harbor. As you can see, Buffalo is off in the background, not far outside of the harbor itself, maybe, oh, maybe about a mile from shore. Just fishing one of the little isolated humps out here. And I've got a cicada. And a cicada is a little jigging spoon. And all I'm doing is dropping her down. And when you drop it down, it kind of falls and flutters down. And when you lift it up, it vibrates real hard. And it's a great fall and spring smallmouth bait. For the guys in Pennsylvania, they're, uh, they're known for fishing their metal baits. And this is called a metal bait or a, a jump bait. And there's one right there. If I can get at him, catch up, catch up to him. Oh, did I get him? Yes, yes, it's a small one. All right, there we go. All right, nice, well, nice. Not as big, you know, I've been catching some really, really big ones the last few days. But uh, we can't get to the spot where we want because we got a north wind today. And uh, I'm happy just to, just to catch a few. Beautiful. All right. Ready to go. Come here, little boy. I mean, it's, it's not an easy technique because you do work. You work hard. But uh, once you get the hang of it, you can catch a lot of fish. Yeah. He's a chunk. He's definitely got some girth to him. All right, we're going to turn him loose. And I'll show you a little bit about the cicada. The cicada is, all it is, it's very simple. Made by Reef Runner Baits. It's a willow leaf blade with a chunk of lead poured onto the willow leaf and two hooks that are, they're kind of strange hooks. They're, um, they're, they're it's like, a, instead of a treble hook, it's a double hook. And it just has a little split in the center and goes down through the holes that are drilled into the uh, willow leaf blade, attached with a snap right here, and then just a little snap, a uh, little swivel up here, and uh, keeps your line from twisting because you get a tremendous amount of line twist. And uh, hey, it works really, really good. I'm fishing in about oh, I think it's 29 to 33 feet of water. I'm on a little hump once again outside the Buffalo Harbor, and. Uh, the way you work it, let me just show you right from here, and then we'll go back to fishing. Bring it up and let it fall. I like to do it on what's called a controlled fall. In other words, I don't want to let it fall just like that because it doesn't fall naturally. I lift it up, and I kind of let it fall on a semi-slack line, but I'm watching my line the whole time. And if my line stops, in other words, if the line is falling down, and I know it's 33 feet, but it only stops at, say, 29 or 28 feet, there's a fish on there. Just set the hook real hard. And I've got a six and a half foot bait, uh, bait casting rod, about a medium heavy action. And I've got a uh, bait casting reel with a uh, 16 pound test uh, sun line. And I've got the sun line, it's fluorocarbon. I can feel every wiggle that this bait makes because every time you pick it up and, and uh, pull it, it vibrates like crazy. You can see my rod tip just vibrates like, like crazy every time I make, a, I make a pull. So I'm gonna get back in a position, try it again and see if we can catch another one, show you what's going on here. Yeah, my good buddy Scott Staker from uh, Marblehead, Ohio, makes cicadas. He also makes reef runners. Uh, reef runner stick baits, great baits. Catch lots and lots of walleye on Lake Erie. Big money winners in there. Oh, and I missed them. Oh, because oh. they will they'll whack it, and you will go to pull up on them, and they only have it partway in their mouth. And Hey, that's fishing, right? But, oh, there, whoa, oh, that one felt good. Maybe that was the same one that hit. Whoa! Man, this gotta be a big bass. Oh, it's not a bass at all, it's a muskie. Ah, muskie, folks, I love it. Look at him down there, holy smokes. Right, wow. Well, he's, he's not even a keeper because a keeper muskie, believe it or not, in the Buffalo Harbor has to be 54 inches. 54 inches for you folks watching out of state. That is one big fish. Holy smokes. 
Wow. Okay, big boy. Well, you never know what you're going to catch with a cicada. Here's our Mr. Muskie. Get him in here and get him loose. And watch out for those teeth and the hooks of the cicada. Both of them can be deadly. There we go. Yeah, way too. One more. Let's tell him up for a quick picture. About a maybe 30 inch muskie, something like that, on a cicada. Not bad. All right. Uh, all right. Well, that worked out all right. A little unexpected treat of a muskie. So, see, folks, using a cicada, vibrating bait in the fall of the year. Hey, usually catching bass, but you never know what you can catch.